Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about teaching and global Englishes. Now, global Englishes has obviously been a big part of language teaching and English language teaching over the last 10 or 20 years. Uh, one of the major areas where it's had an influence is on the idea of who a teacher of English should be. Now, with the idea that English is used by many different people around the world and that most people do not speak native speaker English and neither do they need to speak native speaker English, the importance of non-native speaker English teachers has risen. And also, at the same time, the need for having native speakers of English as teachers has, in theory at least, become less important. However, in practice, still in many uh, countries and settings, native speakers of English are still given higher status as English teachers. And this has obviously been quite controversial, as it doesn't really fit the global English's model, where English is used by many different people. Uh, a second area where global English is, has uh, begun to have an influence in both policy and in practice, and beginning to influence the classroom as well, is in the development of materials. So if English is moved away from English speaking, nat sorry, native speaker English countries, such as the US or the UK, then teaching materials do not need to be based around these countries. So this means a more global perspective on the kind of images presented, the kind of people that are presented in English language teaching materials. Another very controversial area has been testing. Now, testing is still very normative, and of course that is the nature of tests, they must be normative. But most tests are still based around native speaker English, and there are issues as to how relevant this is for people who are going to use English to communicate with other non-native speakers of English who are going to be using English as a lingua franca. How relevant is it to do a test that measures them as a model of, against a model of native speaker English? And testing has been very slow to change, as yet there is very little influence of global Englishes on English language testing. And this really is an issue of concern, because testing is becoming more and more important within English language teaching and also in other subjects. So, for example, many universities around the world now have an English language test that students will need to pass before they're allowed into the university, and often they must pass a test within the university before they can graduate from the university. So clearly it's very important that testing is aware of issues in global Englishes and the variety and types of English used around the world. Now, turning specifically to classroom practice, I think it's very important to emphasise that there isn't a global Englishes or even an ELF approach to teaching. So there isn't an ELF pedagogy or an ELF methodology. It's not a teaching approach. However, there are obviously implications and influences for and from global Englishes for the language classroom. Now, I've talked a bit about some of them, such as content and materials. Uh, but also they perhaps suggest that other things need to be part of language teaching. If successful communication is about more than just a knowledge of the structure of English, then things like communication strategies, pragmatic strategies, linguistic awareness and intercultural awareness need to be a greater part of English language teaching. And there are some signs that this is changing. Uh, the cultural dimension to English language teaching has grown a lot in the last 10 or 20 years. Now, this hasn't always been associated with global Englishes, but global Englishes certainly feeds into this in giving people uh, a wider perspective on the uses of English, having more locally referenced materials as well as globally referenced materials.